This is definitely one of the craziest decks I've created thus far. It is a Cerebro 2 deck, kind of. So this is a light lockdown version of C2 between Goose and Storm. But also, if you haven't noticed, our high-end card is actually Gilgamesh. It's working. <laughs> so the problem I run into when playing Cerebro decks is location disruption and just random variance that happens throughout the course of the game. So Gilgamesh is here to provide that unexpected element and allow you to navigate those disruptions that you may experience. Without him, you kind of have to just leave those games and queue back up. But with Storm and Brood and even Goose, you could sometimes get away with just a simple eight power to win that location by the end of the game. You have Cerebro, which of course gives buffs to all of your two cost cards. You have Blue Marvel that gives buffs to all your cards. And then you have Gilgamesh, which will steal the Cerebro buffs, but not before buffing himself. So that is totally surprising to the opponent. They are caught completely off guard. You can get some fancy eight cube wins because of that. So does this make Cerebro 2 a legitimate deck? Maybe? You will definitely have fun pulling the rug out from underneath your opponents. And you also will get some wins in the process. Okay, first up we have Walk A. I did not mention Mbaku in my introduction. The full-on meme card. But we do have him in the deck. Just for the memes, he is definitely better used with a different card. Something like Echo, Professor X works in a deck like this. So just about any other two cost card. Mbaku makes for a good highlight. So we will have Mbaku. The, the reason why I don't particularly like him in this deck as well is he, uh, I forget he's in my deck. <laughs> so that that is a problem uh we will swipe the ant-man bonus away from them see what we get here this is not going to be a c2 game because we have martyr okay and there's cerebro right on time so uh, I think I just load up. Let's fill their hand with Mbaku. Let's see how nice Danger Room wants to be. Oh, very nice. Okay, we have a four cost hope. Do I play Blue Marvel? This Martyr. I can actually play him here because uh, I forgot Nightcrawler can move. So I'm, I'm spacing. Okay, a Cosmo and an Mbato. I can fill, so I almost definitely win left. So I think it's just filling. So this here, that clogs Right, complete. Oh, no, it doesn't. Undo, undo. <laughs> danger, danger. Move Nightcrawler here. Oh, look at that. Okay, so let me, I was running out of time. Let me talk through my general idea for my game plan. What I think I was going to do is play Mbaku Mbaku right. That gets me to a tie. And then I can play Cosmo left and Mr. Sinister middle. So the Cosmo left is to block any ongoings they might do. They're already blocked from ongoings right. And so that would force them to play middle if they really want to. But Goose is controlling middle. So I just try to fill up my locations. That way Martyr won't move. And so that was the unorthodox game plan here and our opponent retreated. Okay, we have switched to Conquest and we have Flying Lollipop. 
Iceman Goose. Hmm. Get Iceman down here. I think I want to goose. Okay, I guess we're snapping. I think I want to goose left. Uh, I forgot I was recording because this was not a good snap back. <laughs> but uh, we're just in Silver Conquest, so that's fine. Squirrels, and then play Goose here. And then I can get down Cerebro and Mystique. My suspicion says it's Living Tribunal, so we will have a tough time against that. I will try to maintain priority so I can snatch a Iron Man. Yep, there's Ravona. So they're going to play... Oh, they can't play Iron Man left? They can't play Iron Man left. So I think I just play the Cerebro down now. Are they... Is this junk? Okay, the Jubilee. Blue Marvel. Do I snatch that now or do I wait? I think I wait, because even if they play even if they play Onslaught here, swiping the Onslaught is nice. So I will hold here. Do I take priority? I think I take priority with this. So it's a negative tribunal so swiping right now with the rogue might be a little tough because they have a bunch of other cards they could play but we will we will swipe it i don't know if i want to wait or not and because if we draw our own blue marble and i don't want to fill my lanes up just yet they might play magic so is this the iron man middle It is the Sarah. So they might also have uh, Super Scroll. So this is just the play. And it's Silver Conquest, so we'll just play it out, see how this deck does against what is obviously a Mr. Fantastic Living Tribunal deck. They got Mr. Fantastic down on turn four, though. So they only drew two negative cards. So watch, it'll be... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Mystique and Iron Man and uh Okay, there's the Super Scroll. And then Behold Onslaught. Oh not quite. You just can't handle the power Victory. of Mbaku. Take that. Nice solid eight cuber uh that I get to include in the video. Is there much to break down here? Not particularly. I did call out the Super Scroll. They were hoping that would be enough. But this is just a regular, straightforward Cerebro 2 game plan with Rogue teched in specifically to combat some of the ongoing decks. We pulled it out. Okay, next up we have West Philly Philly. Amortage. Hmm. Let me play Nightcrawler here. They are a Thanos deck. So it is unlikely they have White Widow. That's what I'm afraid of. If I thought they had White Widow, I would play Mr. Sinister here now. But I will not do that. I will instead play Mr. Sinister into the unknown. They have also chosen the unknown. Mindstone, not on Comertage. Okay. Play Brood Middle. Okay, they didn't want to draw through before playing Fastos. Uh, is Comrade Hodge going to be my losing lane, potentially? Play Cerebro and Mbaku? Oh, wrong order. Just in case I want to double up with Mystique. Probably not, because I have Blue Marble. But we will see. We are a straightforward C2 deck right now. Now they are going to draw cards. Okay, they have a bunch of discounted or buffed cards. 
Now, this is why I kept my options open. I could play Mystique, but I think I will play Blue Marvel instead. And then I can double up Mystique, Blue Marvel with Mystique. I can't steal the, steal it with Rogue. Okay, should I do the fake out? They have discounted cards. I'm winning right. We are doing the fake out. <laughs> This is what this deck is about, or one of the things that this deck is about. Cerebro is buffing all of our cards. We also have a blue marble buffing, so we actually don't lose too much power through the Cerebro. So I, well, I do lose two, four, six, eight. Oh, maybe I do lose enough. This is three, six, nine, twelve. Nah, we're doing it anyway. Oh, we're gonna pull it out middle? I've never felt uh, like this before. <laughs> Are we gonna pull this out middle? We did. Look at this. Look at this absolute juke. They don't know what hit them. <laughs> the Cerebro into the Gilgamesh. I got scared when, during testing because I had a decent amount of success with this and it was so much fun. Uh, I didn't want anybody stealing my idea before I could make a video on it, so I stopped using it for a while. Uh, and back to it, and this is one of the lines you can use to pull it off. We get our Cerebro down, we tell them we are a Cerebro 2 deck. That's the one thing you have to keep in mind. So we were actually at 15 power here. So the Mockingbird goes down and that's 14. That is why they didn't play the Mockingbird middle, because that is just a flat out losing play because we're C2. So that is the power that this deck has in switching what we're about. We're actually a Gilgamesh deck on the last turn. I got away with only nine power middle because I scared the crap out of them because it was 15. I could move the Nightcrawler, get it to 20 and they were just not going to win that lane so they focused on the outer two and we juked them okay next up we have but nah mbaku good old mbaku starting in my hand uh i play here i don't have brood in my hand which is why i'm hesitating i want to storm the sewer system i will play goose middle and if Goose sticks the landing, I'm going to snap. Or Kitty Cat. So they get our blue marble. And you have a Sasquatch. So I am afraid to snap right now. Because if they play Mysterio, they're just going to slam Sasquatch in my storm lane. So I don't want that. I have no follow-up this turn at all, which is why I kind of was going to play M'Baku to the sewer system. There's Mysterio, and then they're going to slam a Sasquatch left. Wind so I don't know if I can get away with that. The real Mysterio is probably left too. Well, Brood is right on time. So are we just a standard C2 deck? I could pivot. I think we're gonna, yeah, because they're going to just slam Sasquatch. We leave this in the hands of Danger Room and say they don't have tech against my Cerebro. Yep, so there's the Sasquatch. I'm pretty sure the Mysterio, real Mysterio, is here. Uh, I can actually Blue Marvel first. And then on the next turn, I'll play Mr. Sinister Middle and Cerebro right. But I do take priority, so if they have Red Guardian in their deck, but I don't think... Well, I mean, Red Guardian can be in any deck. He's a very good card. I don't have him, unfortunately. I decided to pass on him. But we are making do. Oh, no Mockingbird for you. <laughs> and Fina did not count that as a play card. So, now what? I could miss... Deacon? No. Yeah, I think I just do what I was going to do the whole time. Just say Red Guardian doesn't exist. 
because it'll take out my Cerebro. And we just play this out, and it paid off. The Mark Mockingbird could not stick the landing, and they were ready for me to play the Cerebro, and they got out of here. So just a good, straightforward C2 win. Kind of C3 with Blue Marble. Okay, next up we have Mace. I will not be able to get Mbaku to jump from my deck, sadly, this gameplay. Far Sinister. Hmm. Do I give them an Mbaku? They had Destroy Deck with the Saber too. I do not know. I will not give them an Mbaku. I will play Storm Right and Brood Right. I could play Storm into Bar Sinister, but I really like keeping that open for a card that buffs all of my cards, so either Cerebro or Blue Marvel. Okay, so you won't be able to move cards Win there unless you do it this turn. Hand. Because I'm about to fill the location. So I guess if they just play Polaris now, that's okay, I guess. I don't want to give them my Iceman. Okay, we fully blocked them. But their Silk can still get over there. And I need one of my buff cards. So we have a 50-50 shot. So I think I just fill their hand with nonsense and hope we draw into what I need. I did leave a spot for Nightcrawler. They do have a lower curve part of their deck though, but they'll be restricted to playing that mid with Goose coming down. Boy, if I had one of those buff cards in hand, I would easily snap right now. That's the only reason I haven't snapped. It is tempting to snap on the last turn, but we are so clearly a C2 deck, and they can run that math. So it's just not worth it. With my luck, I probably draw into Mystique. <laughs> they will probably play into Machine World. I don't see why they would play into Bar Sinister right now. They skipped. Okay. Boy, did I call that or did I call that? I did not draw. I only needed one of them. Oh, this is so painful. <laughs> this is so painful. I have two lines in this deck, and I couldn't draw either of them. Man, that's rough. Retreat later. They did a full float on turn five. That's not ideal. So we'll see if we can't get them to retreat as well. Two thousand years later. Oh, they Just ran stay. out the timer on me. <laughs> they, they also retreated too. This is why you retreat later. I this will be the first tie I include in my gameplay. And it, the opponent clearly their plan wasn't coming together, and neither was mine. And the when somebody skips turn five completely, that's rough. They are having a rough time. There's an argument to be made. Maybe I should have played this out. Silk bouncing. They could have guaranteed it, maybe. But I don't know what was in their hand. First, if they had played into Bar Sinister. And then if they had played to Machine World, Bar Sinister fills up first. And then Silk bounces over here. But if I, I am a C2 deck, if I slam Cerebro middle... They're just not competing. So arguably I should have stayed based on the rough time they were having. But I, I played it safe and this is why you retreat later. Okay, next up we have Jalim Abe. Strange Academy. That is more than likely my storm lane. I don't want to tip my hand too early so I will just play Iceman down away for Mbako. <laughs> Beaten up. Goose is good for restricting their Dr. Octopus play. So I will play Goose right and I will Storm left. 
We will see if they took my Cerebro. Okay, I guess we're skipping. If they don't skip, that is a instant win. Okay, Red Hulk. I still storm over here. I could play Brood middle or Mr. Sinister middle, but we are heavily restricting where they can play between Wind Storm and Goose. Aid my hand. Ugh. I mean, this just comes down to, are they playing their Annihilus now? Because I could just Brood and Mr. Sinister, but that requires me drawing into Cerebro. Because I can't handle this Void. Oh, they actually didn't? What is this? Oh, magic. Huh. Magic and my Nightcrawler. Vormir is super annoying right now. One card in my deck. So is that... That must be Cerebro. So I can plan for Cerebro? That This hurts, but I think I just... Do I throw away the Rogue or do I play... Do I throw away the Mystique? I think I throw away the rogue. Is this Doc Ock? Hmm. Can I get Blue Marvel before Gilgamesh? Nice. Okay, so they can't play Sean and Red Hulk. And our, our Cerebro just buffs the Gilgamesh. They could play Annihilus left. Annihilus beats me left, but doesn't... They haven't played the Hood. I see this throw. Let's let's challenge them. Let's see what... Uh, let's see what they have for me. Yeah. There was no way to pull that out. Red Guardian takes out the Mystique and not the Blue Marvel. So there were just no permutations there. Uh, for them to to win between the goose, or really the goose put in heavy work, since I ended up blocking that. The storm ideally would have even more solidified it and put me in a better snap position, but the fact that they erased it, I played it very conservatively and just got one cube. I would have loved to have gotten more though, because this was actually a pretty strong game. Okay, next up we have the Jive Turkey. This is a fantastic opening hand. Uh, I actually want to storm Monster Metropolis. I don't need my cards getting a buff. A buff. We have Wakanda. I will play Goose into the unknown because I can always play Gilgamesh middle. A junk deck. Okay, I still I still stay on the same path. That's fine, no need to panic. Play Storm into Brood. And then Blue Marvel. And then I can slam a Gilgamesh. So that is why we have Gilgamesh in this deck with C2. The idea came to me when I was thinking, well, what other decks are is Blue Marvel in? And Baku here. And I was like, C2? Okay. Well, let's... Let's see what this is about. And it kind of uh, works. <laughs> so they're going to destroy the hood. I play Blue Marble Middle. They play... They are going to play Annihilate. Oh, I should snap. I'm in fantastic position, quite frankly. But honestly, I think Cerebro would be the better play if I drew him. Because I could slam Gilgamesh. Oh, actually, never mind. I This is a Gilgamesh. I'm confusing myself. I'm thinking I have Cerebro down. 
Jeff, you have Jeff in your deck. Okay, look at you. So they play a Nihilus middle. So they're at nine. If the real Mysterio is middle, they are at nine. And then a Nihilus is six. And they also have the hood at six. So they get plus 10 here. The 15. So I think Cerebro is always the play. They get plus three here. They go up to 11. I mean, I could just slam a Gilgamesh too. I mean, what should I do? If I were streaming, I'd, I'd try to have a quick pull. I don't know what to do. Uh, I think I just go Cerebro. But for the record, I think both lines are winning lines. And yeah, they're going to give me the void. But Cerebro gives 8 middle. Or 6 middle. 16. Uh, maybe I should have played Gilgamesh. I should have played Gilgamesh. <laughs> I should have taken more time. Gilgamesh was definitely the safer play. Okay, still one, yeah. Uh, maybe. 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 <laughs> I was hoping there was no disruption to like a, them spawning a red guardian. So yeah. Uh, Gilgamesh center was the correct play. This will be the last game. Uh, we were still able to pull it out. Like I, I did say before, I think either play was a winning play. Because I did the math. We got to 16 here. The most they could really put here was 6. I forgot about the Cersei. But also, if they Cersei middle, they definitely lose right. Because they have an 8 power void. So Cersei middle was always a losing play for them. So the plays they had that were potentially winning were Demon and Annihilus. And like I said, both plays won especially with them abandoning left even if they didn't and they did play annihilus we did that math and uh, giving them the plus three we still were winning this side so gilgamesh was the safer play but oh, you saw both plays won so here's the deck again you got to see exactly how this deck can play out all of the flexibility ultimately it's still a cerebro deck so you will run into variants and locations messing you up but you did get to see a couple of games maybe one game or maybe two depending on what i left in you did get to see us pivot from cerebro to gilgamesh and how that works and that completely shocks opponents and you can get a lot of cube gains out of it the normal standard cerebro game plan works the normal standard blue marvel into gilgamesh game plan works so this deck has multiple avenues to pursue those are my favorite types of decks to play give it a try and let me know how it does for you until next time